Perhaps you okay. At the question number one is we here. Letter E. Choose the correct answer. Number one. The ratio between two complementary angles one to two. Then the measure of Gertz angle equal a space. What's the meaning complementary angle? Complementary angle is the meaning the sum of two angles it will be what? Sum of measure of two angles it will be 90 degree. Then x is reversed to the first angle and the second angle it will be what? 2x because the ratio between first to second it will be 1 and 2. 1 to 2. Okay. The ratio between first and second, one and two. Then we put x reverse to the first angle and two x reverse to the second angle, and the sum of them it will be ninety degree because he tell us in the example he called it what complementary angles. Then sum of them x and two x will be ninety. Then three x it will be ninety. We can divide it by three. Then x here it will be thirty degree. Okay, x reverse to the smallest he want to find the greatest angle then the greatest angle will be 2x 2 times x okay 2 times 30 it will be 60 degrees the result will be 60 degree okay understood or you can find the result by your mind complementary angle it's meaning the sum of two angles equal 90 degree first angle it will be 30 and the second it will be 60 because 30 plus 60 equal 90 degree. Question number two. The area of the circle, area of circle center three and four, and back through the original point equal space point. Okay, we want to find here the area of circle. The area equal pi r power two. It's the area of our circle. Okay, and this circle here we have the center point three and four and the curve passing through the original point zero and zero then we have here the radius we can find the radius here the distance between two points here square root about x2 minus x1 power 2 3 minus 0 it will be 3 power 2 it will be 9 and 4 minus 0 it will be 4 power 2 it will be 16 square root about 25 it will be 5 units the radius will be 5 units then we can find the area area equal by r power 2 right by here and r power 2 5 power 2 25 the result would be 25 pi it's the area about circle 25 pi choose the type question number three a b c d is the rhombus we have here rhombus and a equal 93 and 2 and c negative one and negative two then the slope of uh, what of p d we want to find the slope we know the rule equal y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 we can find the difference between them about two points here y2 x x and y x and y one one two and two here y2 it will be negative two subtract by y1 negative two subtract by two okay x2 here negative one subtract by x1 it will be negative three and then negative two minus two it will be negative four and right here negative one negative time negative in positive result will be negative four over two the result will be negative two the result here would be negative two. Okay, the slope about what slope about AC. But in this example, you want to find the slope of BD. We have here rhombus. We know the properties about all rhombus. We have two diagonals perpendicular. So this rhombus ABCD. We find here the slope about AC. And then we want to find the slope of what? Of BD. We want to find the slope of what? BD. BD perpendicular to AC. 
so the slope of BD will be equal what you can find that slope here by find the inverse about this number and the change the sign the slope will be half because the slope one multiplication by slope two must be equal negative one okay because they tell us in the example it's a rhombus and the reverse about rhombus h diagonals perpendicular to other ec perpendicular to bd then the slope about m2 will be negative one over m1 then we found here the slope about ec equal negative two then the slope about bd here it will be the inverse about negative two and this change the sign the result here will be half okay next question so the result here will be negative half change the sign uh, we get the result half okay change change sign i write here the result okay we put uh, the stop equal negative 2 minus minus 3 will be 3 and negative 1 minus 2 it will be 1 over negative again here negative 2 minus 2 i solve this example from one minute okay understood uh, all again again okay i will explain this again we have a stop about ec i will write ec reverse to m1 stop about ec negative 2 minus 2 over negative 1 minus minus 3 will be negative 4 over negative 1 plus 3 write negative 4 over 2 it will be negative 2 then the slope second it will be 1 over 2 the result will be 1 over 2 okay let us see okay i solve this example from one minute okay but i choose here half i repeated the solving about steps, uh, two diagonals in rhombus was perpendicular. Understood? Uh, next question If A and B and C and D, we have three points. Prove that triangle ABC is right angle at P. Okay, we have this right angle triangle at P, APC. I want to distribute or find the, the measure of this angle. Okay, he give us this information. You want to find or prove that uh, this triangle right angle at B. So you must find the slope about AP. I will call it M1. M1 reverse to slope about this side AP. Okay. And M2 reverse to slope about BC. And if we found M1 multiplication by M2 equal negative 1, then AP will be perpendicular to BC. Understood? So in this example, to prove that this triangle, we call it right angle triangle, if the measure of angle B equal 90 degree or AB perpendicular to BC. So we can find by using the rule. I'm going to find the M1, M1 here, reverse to slope 1. The slope 1, okay, and M2 slope 2. And we know the slope equal Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. And then we have uh, E equal negative 1 and 1 and C equal 3 and 4 and B equal 3 and 1. Y2 minus Y1 about M1 here. Okay. Right 1 minus 1 over negative 1 minus 3. The result will be 0. And this loop 2, M2 here, B and C, 4 minus 3, uh, 4 minus 1 over 3 minus 3 okay it will be 1 over uh, 3 over 0 it's meaning undefined what about slope 1 equal 0 and slope 2 undefined it's meaning ep in the graphical straight line eb will be parallel to x, x axis we call it what ep okay the straight line about ep will be parallel to x x dash and M2 slope here undefined its meaning parallel to y y dash. So two straight lines here EP and PC will be perpendicular. Okay, 
It's meaning the straight line EP and BC perpendicular. And then measure of angle B equal 90 degree. Okay. Then measure of angle B it will be 90 degree. Then triangle EPC is right. Right angle triangle. Okay. We have here right angle triangle. And then find its area. I want to find the area about this triangle. To find the area about this triangle, you must find the length of EP and length of BC and write the rule. Okay, we can write EP equal square root of I here EP x2 minus x1 negative 1 minus 3 power 2 and 1 minus 1 power 2. It will be 4 power 2 is 16 and 0 power 2 it will be 0 then the result will be here square root about 16 it will be 4 then eb equal 4 length unit okay length unit and now i will found bc square root of here bc x2 minus x1 3 minus 3 it will be 0 0 power 0 2 equals 0 1 minus 4 to negative 3 power 2 it will be 9 then the square root of 0 plus 9, 9 square root it will be 3 units. We have BC and EB. Okay, we have two sides here about this triangle, and then we can find the area of triangle equal half multiplication by base, multiplication by height. The base here, right, 4 times height 3, the result will be 6 square units. The area here equals 6 square units. Understood this example? Okay. Okay, next question. Question number two, choose the correct answer. Number one, if sine x plus 5 will be half, where x plus 5 acute angles and x will be what we know sine 30 will be half then x plus 5 will be 30 then x will be 25 because 25 plus 5 equals 30. question number two if m1 m2 are two slope of two parallel straight line then space here we have m1 m2 and parallel parallel it's meaning slope one equal Slope 2 or m1 minus m2 equals 0. Okay, slope 1 subtract by slope 2 equals 0. Choose number 1. Now, equation here 3. Okay. The equation of the straight line in which path is through point 2 and 3 and perpendicular to y axis. Perpendicular to y axis, it's meaning the slope will be and what? Here perpendicular to y y axis the slope will be equal zero perpendicular to y y dash or y axis it's meaning parallel to x axis parallel to x axis it's meaning the slope will be equal zero then if we write the equation y equal mx plus constant then y equals the constant cancel m multiplication by x because m equals zero and the slope equal m and the constant here will be what y will be equal 3 because the point here 2 and 3 this point straight line button through the point 2 and 3 then this side length will be 3 then the equation will be y equal 3 what 3 okay now choose y equal 3 because it tells us in the example the straight line button through the point 2 and 3 and parallel to x axis or perpendicular to y y dash or perpendicular to y y axis it's meaning this angle right degree 90 degree okay and the slope equal zero here slope equal zero about this relation between y and x y equal mx plus constant cancel the value here then y equals the constant and then put the point here put y equal 3 then the constant will be 3 the constant here will be 3 because we haven't x here write 3 here in this equation 
about this constant and the cancel x then y will be equal 3 choose the letter d next question find the distance between x and 5 and 6 and 1 if the distance between two points here equal to root 5 he give us the distance between two points here and you want to find the value of x we can find the value of x by using the rule square root about x2 minus x1 power 2 plus y2 minus power y, minus y1 power 2 it will be 2 root 5 this is the rule here okay distance between two points square root about x2 minus x1 power 2 plus y2 minus y1 power 2 equal the distance between them and then we can cancel power by both power 2 left hand side right hand side then the result here it will be x minus 6 power 2 we can cancel the square root by put power 2 to left hand side right hand side x minus 6 power 2 subtract by 5 minus 1 equal 4 4 power 2 equals 16 understood my students okay i cancel the power by put power 2 to left hand side right hand side 2 power 2 4 times 5 x subtract by 6 power 2 subtract by 16 equal 20 okay then we can move the negative 16 to left hand side here then x minus 6 power 2 it will be 20 plus 16 it will be 36 then x minus 6 power 2 equals 36 and then we can put square root to left hand side right hand side to cancel the power 2 x minus 6 or power 2 and square root about 36 okay but in this example this number will be the absolute value about x minus 6 okay right here is absolute value of x minus 6 equal 6 again square root about x power 2 it's meaning absolute value of x minus 6 because we have two solution about this number this number will be positive or negative then x minus 6 will be 6 or x minus 6 will be negative 6 understood we have two solution about this example or you can find this number in the simplest form and factorizing the result or you can use this method as you like okay then x will be 12 12 minus 6 equals 6 or x here equals 0 because 0 minus 6 equals negative 6 then solution set here will be 0 and 12 solution set about this example or you can solve this example by another method okay it's a result okay i will solve it by another method okay we can solve this example by another method or we can write here x minus 6 or power 2 it will be x power 2 subtract 6 times 2 times x it will be 12 x plus 36 equal 36 and then we can cancel 36 by 36 is an x power 2 minus 12x will be 0. And then we can write x height common factor between two numbers. And here minus 12, it will be 0. Then x will be equal 0 or 6 or x equal what? 12. We have two solution here. I complete here, okay. If x equals 0 or x minus 12 will be 0, then x here will be 12 or x equals 0 we have two solution about this example it's another method about this example we have two method here about this example as you like okay next question in the opposite figure prove that 10x plus 10y equal 25 over 12 okay we have right angle triangle here and it give us two or three centimeter and they have perpendicular to this point a b and c we have here this angle uh, y and this angle x and he want to prove that 10x plus 10y equal 25 or 12. First step we can find 
this side length from feather rolls it will be five centimeter and then we have two triangles here works congruent this angle about the first triangle here okay we can find this side lines as this side lines and side lines. it's very easy for you okay you don't uh, solve complex uh, for this problem it's very easy first step we can find this side lines db like by this piece of ours db equal 3 times 4 over 5 it will be 12 over 5 will be 2.4 this side lines will be what 2.4 okay this side lines 2.4 and we can find DC from Pythagoras here for about this triangle, such as that. DC will be equal, or you can use the previous to find DC. We know uh, BC power 2 equal DC times EC. Okay, I will solve this example by a previous Pythagoras to find DC. As you like, Pythagoras or theorem about Eclipses. Okay, Eclipses still us 3 power 2. BC power 2 equal DC power 2 multiplication EC then DC power 2 it will be 9 and DC I won't find the length about DC and EC was 5 then DC will be 9 over 5 and right square root then DC this side length will be square root about 9 over 5 9 over 5 it will be 1.8 right square root of 9 over 5 it will be 1.3 1.3 centimeter and then TA or ED is the difference between 5 and 1.3 5 subtract by 1.3 Okay, we can write 5, subtract by answer, the result will be 3.6 string, okay, 3.6, this side, or 3.7, okay, never mind, and then we can find 10x from this triangle, 10 equal opposite over adjacent, this side 1.3, over the side lines 2.4 1.3 over this number 1.4 okay i can write here in the simplest form 10x and 10y opposite over adjacent 3.6 over 2.4 or you can write here 4 approximately this number okay approximately this number 1.4 from your calculator and 3.6 and here 10x over will be 10x here will 1.4 okay this side lens 1.4 and this side lens was 2.4 1.4 over 2.4 and here 3.6 over 2.4 then 10x plus 10y it will be 1.4 over 2.4 plus 3.6 over 2.4 the result will be 1 over what complete here it will be 2.4 and up it will be 5 over 2.4 and then we can send this by multiplication by 10 numerator and numerator it will be 50 over 24 and then symbolist this number 50 over 24 by divided by 2 is the result will be 25 over 12 understood this example it's very important okay the result here it's the result about this example okay can you see the results it's x and this y and it was for 1.4 and it was 3.6 and here 2.4
we divided 1.4 over this number plus 3.6 over this number some of them equal 25 over 12 letter b find the equation of straight line in which uh, cut from the positive part of y axis five units okay we have straight line cut from positive y axis five units this part five units and perpendicular to a straight line another straight line here we called here l2 and here l1 they give us equation about l2 straight line 2x subtract by 5 y plus 1 equals 0 and we don't know the straight line about l1 okay l1 so we can use the properties about perpendicular then such that l1 perpendicular to l2 then m1 multiplication by m2 it will be negative 1 the product about them will be negative 1 because l1 perpendicular to l2 okay and then we can find the slope about it l2 negative coefficient of x over coefficient of y will be negative 2 over negative 5 and the slope about l2 in m2 it will be 2 over 5 so m1 it will be the inverse about it, 2 over 5 it will be 5 over 2 and then change the sign here negative then write negative 5 over 2 it's what stop about l1 write negative 5 over 2 because the slope here negative coefficient of x over coefficient of y it will be 2 over 5 and then you can inverse about this friction and change the sign the result will be negative 5 over 2 and he tell us straight line cut five parts from positive part from y axis then the relation here y will be equal m 2 x plus constant then y will be equal m 2 here or m1 it was m1 okay because this y m1 here equal negative 5 over 2 multiplication x plus the constant here here it will be 5 okay the equation will be y equal negative 5 over uh, negative 5 over 2 times x plus 2 plus 5 Okay, we can write in the simplest form y will be equal write negative 5 outside have a common factor between them and write half x plus 1 change the positive will be negative because write negative outside coefficient next question number 4 Letter A, if cosine x equal 10, 30, sine 60. Where x is acute angle, without using calculator, find sine x 10, x. Okay, I can solve this example by using right angle triangle. Right here is 30 and here is 60. Sine 30 equal 1 over 2 and adjacent to here, it will be root 3. Then cosine x will be 10 30 10 30 10 opposite over adjacent 1 over root 3 multiplication sine 60 multiplication about uh, opposite over hypotenuse root 3 over 2 and then cancel root 3 by root 3 and then the result will be half so cosine x will be equal 1 over 2 then x here equal x here equal what? 60. Then we can find sine x tan x. Sine x 
Fixware Schist will be sign Schist. Multiplication time 10x 10 Schist. Sign Schist will be opposite over over what? Huh? Over two. I write it here because we found the hair x right root 3 over 2 times 10 60 60 opposite over adjacent root 3 over 1 the product between them it will be 3 over 2 okay again we have cosine x equal 10 30 times sine 60 10 30 for 1 over root 3 and sine 60 will be root 3 over 2 cancel root 3 by root 3 the result will be half then x will be 30 degree then we can find sine 60 times 10 60 it will be root 3 over 2 times root 3 over 1 the result will be 3 over 2 okay which shall little b triangle ABC where it's vertices A, B, C and D, E, F are midpoints of its sides A, B, B, C, A, C respectively finds the parameter of triangle D, E, F okay we have triangle here and we have A, 0 and 0 it's order B equal 3 and 0 and this point c equal 3 and 4 uh, this point d of ab here d and e of ac of bc okay e and f between a and c okay we can find the order of d d is the midpoint between e and b we can eat 3 plus 0 equals 3 over 2 and 0 plus 0 equals 0 over 2 it will be 0 and e midpoint about b and c 3 plus 3 6 6 divided by 2 equal 3 and 0 plus 4 equal 4 divided by 2 equal 2 and f 0 plus 3 equal 3 3 over 2 and 4 plus 0 equal 4 divided by 2 equal 2. And the suit. And then we want to find the parameter of triangle DEF. The parameter of triangle here equal half of parameter of triangle ABC you can find the parameter about ABC and divided by 2 or by DE and EF and FED and sum of all sides about this triangle okay first step I will find what the lens here DE DE D and the square root of difference between numbers power 2 3 subtract by C over 2 C over 2 it will be 1.5 3 subtract by 1.5 1.5 power 2 the distance between D and E and 0 minus 2 it will be 2 power 2 it will be 4 okay the difference here it will be 1.5 1.5 power 2 it will be 1.5 power 2 plus 4 it will be 25 over 4 and then put square root of answer this that will be 2.5 the instrument okay and then we can find EF side of EF here E and F square root of 3 subtract 3 power over 2 power 2 3 subtract 1.5 power 2 it's means 3 over 2 plus we have here E and F 2 minus 2 equals 0 then it will be b 1.5 power 2 
and the root 0 to the 1.5 Lins unit. And then last one we can find the length of ED. If D here square root of difference between two numbers will be zero power two and two minus zero equal two power two it will be four two power two four square root of it will be two lanes unit then the parameter equal we must add all values here we must add three values here okay find the parameter it three numbers 2.5 plus 1.5 plus 2 it will be here will be what 4 plus 2 equals 6 6 lanes unit so we need about this triangle EFD find the slope and the intercept part of x-axis if the equation of the straight line x over 2 plus y over 3 equal what okay we have here x over 2 plus y over 3 equal 1 it's meaning what straight line cut off x-axis and y-axis x-axis and two parts and y-axis as three parts here and the slope will be negative because it's decreasing okay negative 3 over 2 over here negative 3 over 2 and intercept part of x-axis it will be two part we have another solution about this example or you can solve this example by another method by find by find what about it okay it's a solution or you can solve the example by another method by find what found the here is a slope equal negative coefficient of x coefficient of x it will be 1 over 2 over coefficient of y 1 over 3 and then negative 1 over 2 it's coefficient of x negative 1 over 2 divided by coefficient of y it will be third and then write negative half and convert from divided from one division to multiplication write 3 over 1 the result will be 3 over 2 okay and the sign negative it's exactly the number the result here the slope will be negative 3 over 2 and to find how many parts cut from what intercept part of x-axis put in this example y equals 0 put y equals 0 in this equation put y equals 0 then x over 2 equal 1 then x will be equal to because 2 times 1 equal 2 so we have two methods to solve this example by using the rule or find the slope and then put y equal 0 to find how many parts cut from x axis it will be two parts next question letter b later ab is the length 6 meters it's upper each it lies vert uh, vertical wall and it's other it it be on the horizontal floor okay we have here vertical and the leader here right angle here the top here was what e lies in the vertical it's e and it was b the length it was six meter if c is the projection of point a projection of point a on the floor the, we have here series of projection about a it will be c okay in the floor and its angle its angle slope on the floor slope okay it's here it's angle alpha okay this angle or theta slope the serve on the floor was the measure of 60 degrees this angle equals 60 degree then find the length of ac you want to find the length of c okay we can find the length of ac how by using the rule here opposite over hypotenuse it will be sine such that sine 60 sine okay sine 60 equal ec over ap sine 60 opposite over hypotenuse sine 60 it will be root 3 over 2 equal ec i want 
I don't know, EC, but EB, 6 cm. Then, we can find the length of EC by using the product of extremes equals the product of means. 6 multiplication root 3 over 2 to find EC. Then, EC will be 3 multiplication by root 3 cm. Using calculator to find the result in the simplest form. 3 root 3. It will be 5.1 centimeter. AC will be 1.5.1 centimeter. Okay, 5 and 1 tenths centimeter. This is the result about this example. Okay, understood.